Are we back? Let's take it out. Let's reload this. Make sure it was streaming. And we're live again. Yeah. Well, sorry about the gang. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. That's just because we gave gold value. Bow. Is everything uh, streaming okay? I think so. It looks that way anyway. I hope so. Let's do this. In this chat box. Oops, that's that guy. We don't want to mess with that guy. Where's my chat box? Is it still popping up? Yeah, let me do this again. Let's uh, let me close this guy up. Oops. Uh, pop out chats. Let's put this guy here. So I would have missed some of the chat. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I follow you. Care to so there's a fair bit of discussion going on. I caught some of it. Okay. We should be back. I hope so anyway. Yeah, looks like it. And the chat. So I think we're just gonna do a little pause until uh, a few more people show up. Um, are we gonna get a chance to read this whole thing? Should we finish reading this whole thing? And again, my apologies gang for uh, putting us in that situation. I didn't realize uh, Video games are just full of what we just showed on the video. <laughs> so I guess I guess we're not allowed to show real life, uh, real life events. Only pretend. Is that the case? No, no, no. Stun you. Yeah, there's a lot of conversation going on. What the best way is to uh to fight against to really try to um oops i don't want to kill that i just want to unlock it and just move it up a little let's close this guy off i think we're making the same points We had we lo definitely lost some people. We had a few people on, and then we had like twenty five people or something on the stream. So we're down to nine. <laughs> we'll give people a little bit of time to uh, pop in. Here's the article I was talking about regarding Julian Assange torturing Julian Assange. The conversation I, some of the conversation I was reading in the chat was uh, basically people talking about what the best way is to fight back against this, right? Violence is not, not for me. Uh, I think so too. Went a bit fast on the keyboard. Sorry, man. We're on the same page. Okay. Amigo sen, sen, Sencillo. Amigo Sencillo. Amigo. So I think Stix Armana was mentioning it, in, uh, uh, or Stix, I guess, uh, what the best way would be to make sure we're, we keep our freedoms, which is basically don't use, uh, don't support them, hit them where it hurts, hit them in their wallets, right? Uh, one of the things I saw was people using credit cards and debit cards. Uh, for me, I don't use those. I just use cash and I've been to places where they don't take cash when I say it's too bad for you I'm out right I don't I don't uh, uh, and they lose customers some people are some businesses are okay with just going fully digital with credit cards and debit cards 
uh, one place I go to, the comic shop I go to, they actually told me it cost them more money to deposit cash than it does to go through their debit system, right? Because I guess there's manpower involved in that. Okay. Let's see who's back here. <clears throat> All right. So I agree. We should stop using credit cards. Stop using debit cards. Start using cash only. Uh, there are businesses in my area that only accept cash. Uh, a lot of them are just mom and pop shops, and that's where I tend to uh, try to do most of my consumption anyway. Uh, just doing cash with uh, mom and pop shops, maybe through the farms, going to farmers market, maybe going to just a local food stand, right? Uh, it is what it is, right? It is what it is there's a few articles here that uh, a fair bit of info that uh, I had planned on uh, going through and we can cover a lot of the stuff I'm gonna keep on growing this file and uh, you know what we're gonna do I'm just gonna set this up so stuff that we've already covered we're gonna post it up top here and these are the ones that we haven't covered <clears throat> Chicho, I have a little stash of cash in my drawer. To be safe, I don't trust the bank. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, to me, it's amazing that there are people out there, friends and family, that don't keep any cash on hand. It To me, that boggles the mind. What happens if the power goes out? You can't use your debit card. You can't go to the bank. You can't use your credit cards. How are you going to buy things? There are people out there that actually don't keep cash in hand, which is insane to me, right? They have that much faith in the system or they've never been. They don't understand how this whole thing works here in my city. The parking meters not only accept credit cards. Oh, really? You can't buy a parking ticket with cash. Really? Called them and said, I have no credit card. How how have I? to solve this and they said bad luck to you you have to uh, evolve with time wow is that what they said one thing you can do as well is buy disposable credit cards right I I don't personally I've had to in the past for certain things online or whatnot you get a disposable credit card put cash on it and you have a limit on it right uh, it's like a debit card uh, one of the reasons that might be the case uh, by the way uh, crazy bro is because a private institution owns the parking meters in your city right uh, that has happened in the United States there are certain cities that are actually Saudi money Saudi princess uh, bought the they gave the city's money loans and for collateral for assets they got all the parking spots in the city so when you pay for your parking spot in the city in certain cities in the United States, you're actually paying the Saudi family, the house of Saud. Crazy. Uh, destroy the parking meters and tell them it was broken so you can't pay. Uh, sticks are mana. In my city, in Vancouver and uh, Victoria, okay, if a parking meter is broken and you park there and you leave a little note saying the parking meter is broken, you will still get a ticket if a parking meter is broken you cannot park in that spot crazy right put something in the hole where the card goes in yeah i can see their point because what you could do is just break all the parking meters and parking would be free but just imagine parking meter broken you can't park in that spot they'll give you a ticket they put cameras on each street here they are watching they are watching I think we'll do uh, so they can't see what you do I'm sure you can figure it out but if the power goes out for an extended period of time maybe money will lose its value uh, uh, all in all uh, all of I don't think it will I think people in the long run most of the money in the world like fiat currency that people use for transactions is not cash it's all digital so scarce thing really is cash 
right? Because everybody's doing well, a huge chunk of the world is doing digital transfers of money, right? So if you have cash, if you want to buy something, let's say your power has gone off for a week, right? You need food and you should have at least a week, two weeks worth of food supply in your home, right? You need food. You go to a store. If I'm a store owner, I also have bills to pay. If someone comes to me with cash, I will sell them what they need in cash. That's the only currency there is or barter system, right? It is indeed. It's a private company that won it. Uh, best in gold coins best is gold coins uh, possibly but it's got to be small denomination of gold coins gold bars or unless you can you can chip off gold chunks of gold and people the people you exchange gold with they have to be aware enough um, to know that it's gold to be able to take it as value right and will the price of gold go down or will it go up some people say it'll shoot up uh, maybe maybe why is parking free fee a thing at all parking should be free well cities need their revenue they're all tapped out they're all bankrupt right i have these two carrots i need your bottle of water want to do a trade you have gold coins <laughs> i don't have any gold coins i don't keep gold i don't have gold all right i don't have the funds to buy gold coins but if I did, I would. I would have a little bit of gold, right? Sorry about the delay, gang. Sorry about taking, uh, showing you guys something that we weren't supposed to watch on Twitch. I did delete the video. Uh, I did download it. Um, am I going to load that one up? Maybe I'll take it into my editor and cut out the gore part. Spread out your risk. Spread out your risks, right? Is Saudi Arabia, you can buy gold coins from machines on the street Saudi Arabia is is <laughs> Saudi Arabia you can do many things there's slaves in Saudi Arabia you can buy slaves in Saudi Arabia right I personally wouldn't set foot in that country I've had people friends that tell me that they'd like to visit Saudi Arabia, right? And I'm, my thoughts to them is why? You're gonna go visit somewhere where at any point they could take you and chop off your head. Or why? For money, right? That's their main reason. Oh, you can get great jobs or get paid a lot of money, right? They're willing to give up their freedom, risk life and limb, incarceration for life, for money to me that is insane right that gives me a really nice perspective of where we are in our society right Whew, what a whirlwind the stream has been eh? what a whirlwind the stream has been so gang should we continue with this or you know what let's let's watch the videos in this what we'll do is I'll most likely uh, late next week not this weekend maybe we'll do one this weekend i might do a follow-up stream julian assange stream part three uh this weekend okay and for the next julian assange stream that we're going to do we're going to keep on reading some of these articles okay that i've uh saved up here okay uh we, we did read this one too no this is the one that i want to read right now torturing julian assange yeah this one is the one that I had queued up for us to read, which is basically talking about the UN Repertoire's uh, report that Julian Assange is basically being tortured, right? But I think what we'll do, we'll do this in the next stream. When you work there, they take your passport, so you become their property. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. I had, I knew one person, not a friend, but an associate, that barely got out of Saudi Arabia alive. Because what had happened is some he owed money to someone in a business transaction. And if you owe money to anyone, uh, you become a slave, right? You can't leave the country. So what they what they did was they, they didn't fly out. I don't think they flew out. They might have 
I think they might have flown out, uh, flown out privately or something like this. They got, they got out just in the nick of time, right? Chicho, in 20 years, people are going to say, what happened to part two of Chicho's stream about Julian Assange? <laughs> Maybe. And we watched, you guys watched it live here. We did it live here. I've downloaded it. Uh, I'll see if I can take it into my video editor and edit out the, that part of it. And uh, maybe I'll attach, I'll save this and attach it to that and load it up. We'll see. But I definitely want these Julian Assange streams to be available uh, on YouTube as well. Okay. And we showed some videos uh, that maybe we'll get hit with copyright law, copyright infringements or something on YouTube, which I don't care about, right? Um, if we get flagged, it just doesn't monetize it, which some of the stuff i'm getting hit with not monetization for sure but uh, i i really don't care about that too much uh it is great to have a source of revenue coming in so i can uh produce more of this work uh but so be it so be it right chisho regarding knocking people people out of their seats with the truth the ugly reality is that truth can can and often is brushed off as a conspiracy theory and when they bring conspiracy theories into the into the mix and people have done this with me by the way olive oh that's a conspiracy theory and then i just go crazy on their asses right R really some of the people that believe in Russiagate, I start saying, oh, you're a Russiagate believer. You, you are the conspiracy theorist. And then I lay it on there. And then I turn to them and say, oh, conspiracy theories. And we start talking about what a conspiracy is, what a theory is, the laws that are in place to put people in jail for conspiring to do things, how many conspiracy theories that have been come out to be conspiracy facts, such as the Gulf of Tonkin, right? Uh, the 2008 financial scam that happened and countless other ones right countless other ones right so look the kicker with this stuff is with being informed is once you once you we talked about this once you know you cannot unknow you might forget certain facts but you can start smelling bs coming a mile away right so once you understand how the dialogue the people who are programmed to think in a certain certain way through our current education system or indoctrination centers or mainstream media or whatever right once you understand their dialogue it doesn't make a difference what they say you can you could tear them apart with arguments you can tear them apart with facts like really in social settings i've taken on some people where they're parroting BS. Like 10 years ago, I would get into discussions with so called liberals and people who are open minded of how important it is to maintain America's war on drugs. Believe it or not, there are people out there where they'd be drinking alcohol and they're talking to me that uh, cannabis should never be legalized. And after I was done with them, they look like two-year-olds trying to discuss quantum physics like they looked ridiculous right and that is my purpose when it comes to that kind of setting that is how i deal with ignorance right i don't give room for ignorance to parrot propaganda i stop ignorance right in its tracks or try to and i realize that some of the stuff i don't know right really there are things that i don't know i'm i'm ignorant about i have my facts wrong and I appreciate it when people put me in my place, right? But those people who parrot mainstream corporate propaganda, they're really, in general, not appreciative of you putting them in their place. You have to get them to a state, to a level, where they appreciate being corrected, right? And it doesn't mean being brutal on them all the time. You have to show a little bit of empathy to try to say, look, I understand where you're coming from. I understand that you're ignorant and you're willingly being ignorant but that is your fault okay that is your doing so stop trying to defend your ignorance start educating yourself so you do not look like such a simpleton right that's that's the approach i take i don't think that's the approach for everyone but that's the approach i take put it on youtube at least they don't license people as uh, si uh, silence people 
<laughs> as Twitch does. Uh, Sticks Arman and uh, YouTube silences people. I don't know if they'll silence this one. Maybe I'll load up the whole thing on uh, YouTube. I won't even edit it. Maybe that's what we'll do. Okay. Ask them, do you even know what a conspiracy uh, uh, conspiracy the what a conspiracy theory is do you know what a conspiracy is and do you know what a theory is sticks are manan i actually wrote an article about this they will just stand there and <laughs> look even dumber 100 percent agreed and here's here's the article that i wrote here let me find it for you ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Noam Chomsky, a conspiracy theory of the highest magnitude, defining th conspiracy theory. What are the theories behind the conspiracies? Okay, let me link this up to you guys. Because I, like what I'm what I'm telling you guys right now is what I've encountered with people. Like what I'm sharing is my experiences with people and stuff like this. Like I'm not talking out of thin air like i'm not trying to bs anyone here right that's the last thing i i do i try to do anyway sometimes i misspeak but literally what i'm stating is exactly what i do and i even wrote an article so i could reference it to people once they really appreciate their their level of programming right just stand there okay now nah, i just got to get educated enough to be able to put people in their place should be easy haha <laughs> olive take a look at this article that i wrote right like literally take a look at this article that i wrote uh should i even read it for you guys let's read it i'm gonna read it to you guys just because it's come up and this is pretty important okay so i wrote this article in 2013 okay so six may 2000 so six and a half years ago or so right noam chomsky a conspiracy theorist of the highest magnitude defining conspiracy theory what are the theories behind the conspiracies and just to let you know i believe i wrote this before 2013 i wrote this on my previous site it was my own site i wasn't going through blogspot right but that got taken down i got hacked and it got taken down just to reduce my expenses i went through blogspot so i believe i wrote this back in 2009 or 2008 or 7 or something like this right part one defining conspiracy theory one of the main problems uh, with with our society is that words have lost their meaning in spoken languages the tone of a word can be used to make inferences that may be completely unrelated to the meaning of the word this is especially true when dealing with propaganda when certain people or organizations want to dismiss an argument, they tend to phrase words in such a way that makes them appear illogical or treacherous if given credence. One of these words is conspiracy. And when, when put together with the word theory, it becomes the infamous phrase conspiracy theory. Let's take a look at the definition of these two words and try to figure out why they have been used to discredit not only people, but history, data and facts. The legal definition of conspiracy is, quote, an argument between two, uh, an agreement between two or more peop, uh, persons to commit an illegal or unlawful act or to achieve a legal act, but by illegal or unlawful means. A theory is, quote, con, con, um, concept that is not yet verified, but that is that if true would explain certain facts or phenomena, end quote. So conspiracy theory is a conjecture that two or more people may have planned an unlawful act. And if certain facts are proven to be true, then the, the conspiracy theory becomes reality. Let me read that again. I've quoted this to people. So conspiracy theory is a conjecture that two or more people may have planned an unlawful act. And if certain facts are proven to be true, then the conspiracy theory becomes reality. As we all know, throughout history, our governments and politicians have done exactly what the above states. They have conspired to obtain power, to overthrow governments, to de destroy their political rivals, and to make money. Politics is littered with conspiracies, but the mainstream media treats this word with contempt. Have we forgotten Watergate, Tonkin, Iran-Contra, Basra, Pinochet, Mohammad Mossadegh, Reichard, 
Pearl Harbor, uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, Waco, Ruby Ridge, Pine Ridge, Quintel Pro, Oswald, and JFK. Nor Northwards, Con uh, Condor, Iraq, 9-11, Libor, Robo Signing, uh, Robo signing round one, robo signing round two, HSPC, the war on drugs, and much more. And all of those things that I just listed are linked up as resources where all of those things are facts that used to be called conspiracy theories. You can add some to that list. I can add some to that list. Remember, I wrote this like eight, nine, whatever years ago, right? So in the phrase conspiracy theory, it is not the word conspiracy that needs to be scrutinized, but the data on which the theory is based on. And this is where the problem lies. Neither mainstream media nor those in power have any desire to investigate the theory behind the, behind the argument. If they did, many questions would arise from the investigation, which... Uh, investigation which in turn could be devastating for the status quo so next time the phrase conspiracy theory is used to discredit someone just point out that the conspiracy is not in question but rather the data being presented from the theory then ask them what part of the argument they disagree with you'll you'll most likely find out that they know less about the theory behind the conspiracy than they know about history this is when we this is when you can direct them to teachings of Noam Chomsky. Regarded as a leading contemporary historian, the author of over 100 books and voted the world's top public intellectual in 2005. So let me read you this thing about conspiracy theory from Noam Chomsky, okay? So Chomsky, part two, Chomsky, a conspiracy theorist. As for where to begin with Chomsky's vast library, may I, recommend, may I recommend the following video from 2006 in which he is asked what he would say to George W. George w. Bush if he had one minute alone with him. His reply, right? So we can read it because what I did, I actually typed this all out, <laughs> right? I listened to the video and I typed it all out at the time, right? So let's just listen to him. And I have a couple of links there uh, that I hyperlink. Okay. <laughs> like, for those of you just, for those of you that haven't checked out my work in the past, you don't know my blogging and what I wrote about and stuff like this. Uh, I was like, what I showed in this video the that we had to cut the Twitch stream and stuff like this. I was analyzing these things hardcore when I was blogging back in the mid 2000s to the late 2000s, early 2010s and stuff like this. Right. And I got tired of documenting the gore and death and destruction that was happening and was to come. Right. I wrote that stuff out. Right. So this is chill Chicho. <laughs> hardcore Chicho was a huge part of my writing. Imagine being at work. You have a colleague like Chicho and you get into an org. Dude, I've had that happen at work. Uh, there are some that really appreciated my presence and I got a lot of work from them. Some others, not so much. Let's look at this Chomsky video. Okay. It's a two minute video, two and a half minute video. If you had one minute with George W. Bush, what would you say? To tell you the honest truth, I, um, I doubt very much that George Bush has much to do with policy formation. I mean, the way the the presidency is more or less like um, royalty in the United States. So the Queen of England opens Parliament with a speech. Right. But nobody asks whether she believes it you know, or whether she understands it. Uh, her role is to, it's a ceremonial role. You present, uh, uh, it's a role that's connected with unity of the people, uh, patriotism, obedience, and so on and so forth. Uh, the content is something else. Uh, that's by people who run the country. Uh, the people who run the country are those in political office, but much more importantly, their associates in the concentrations of private economic power. 
Uh, that's where the country is really run. And that shouldn't be a big secret either. Uh, America's leading social philosopher, John Dewey, uh, who's right, very mainstream American, uh, he pointed out uh, once that as long as um, we have what he called industrial feudalism uh, rather than industrial democracy, that means tyrannical totalitarian institutions uh, running the economy, command economies basically, as long as that's instead of industrial democracy like workers control and management, uh, as long as we have that, then politics will be the shadow cast by business over society. And that's approximately accurate. Now, it's not that the state has no independent choices, it does, but uh, an amalgam. Now, exactly the role that George Bush plays in this is very dubious, questionable. Uh, in some cases, like say Ronald Reagan, uh, he probably didn't even know what the policies were. Uh, he was reading off his note cards or the teleprompter or something like that. Uh, and Bush may have some knowledge of them, but I think he's mostly a symbolic, a ceremonial figure, trained to act in certain ways and so on. So if I had a minute with him, I would say, you know, um, have you talked to God lately or something like that? <laughs> okay. So what Chomsky is really saying here is, there are people in the background running the show. It is literally a conspiracy theory, right? So next time people talk, talk to you, or when they talk to me, I'm put out a video of this. Have you talked to God lately? I know it's next one. Super funny, right? When people ask me, he's calling him a puppet. One hundred percent. The lobbies run the show everywhere, and who is behind the lobbies, right? Do the lobbies even care what they're lobbying for, right? The whole thing is a conspiracy. There's groups, individuals, organizations that are conspiring to rule our world, right? Hollywood with copyright laws, Wall Street with all the financial dealings that they do, banks with all the regulation controlling money, right? It's all tech, tech companies with monopolies, right? Lobbying governments to make sure they get monopolies, right? It's all a conspiracy. Anybody that thinks Bush, Trump, Clinton, Obama, if they call the shots, is delusional. They don't call the shots. They're not nice people. There's no question about that. Hillary, Obama, Bush, they should all be in jail, right? It's not that they don't have power. They have capital, right? But they could be taken out at any time. Well, we call them lobbies to make make it uh, too difficult yeah agreed that that part i agree right the lobbies but they're they're more than just this person lobbying s governments right i sure have my foil hat on right now nobody going to read my brain <laughs> that's why we we are slaves lobbies business plus politics equals stranglehold yeah control of money supply right control of our food supply control of water right where we are going where the western governments would like us to go is the model of chile and we know what's happening in chile right money money out of politics and citizens united amigo a great place to start and citizens united We're going to do more Julian Assange stories. I've created a playlist, uh, Julian Assange streams. I've created a playlist on YouTube now. WikiLeaks and Julian Assange, or Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. Everything we upload now in regards to Julian Assange on YouTube will go in that playlist. And since basically there's one other current events politics stream that we did like two weeks ago that I still need to load on YouTube, but that's going to be the last current events politics live stream we're going to load on youtube direct okay uh because we're getting nailed on youtube the algorithms are killing us right and i do want the mathematics to be spread far and wide because that's the key really uh right giving the people the power to do critical thought right because i've seen 
math education completely collapsed in my country and i'm pretty sure it's completely collapsing in many other countries so critical thought is being taken out of our indo indoctrination centers which is what the powers that be want to happen right so we're going to continue to produce math stuff loaded on youtube and more benign stuff loaded on youtube but the only political stuff that we're going to load on youtube anything that i address directly with recorded video none of the current events live streams will be loaded on youtube except for julian assange discussions okay olive so conspiracy theory is basically being used as a straw man argument by people who don't want to believe some of the truth that the powerful doesn't want people to know it's very fascinating uh, to witness how the meaning of words and phrases are being bent and manipulated conspiracy theory will always have a negative ring a ring to it for me i've been programmed to feel that way chicho do you believe all presidents of america have have been puppets given the strong influence the market has had uh, pretty much pretty much all of okay there are some that were more powerful than others right but pretty much there have been puppets of power capital right and one other thing i'll add to conspiracy theory since i wrote that article right conspiracy theory was mainly used by mainstream propagandists mainstream media to dismiss people i've seen people within my local community start saying oh that's a conspiracy theory that's to try to dismiss things right more so than in the past that forced me to write this article right that's eight years ago right? i wrote that article more so at present than in the past so it's not just being used by powers now to dismiss it's being parroted by those who have been programmed by those mainstream propagandists to say what they're to use this word conspiracy theory to dismiss arguments against their dogmas right so anyone that comes on and says oh that's just a conspiracy theory chicho or that's just a conspiracy theory olive you better know what it is that you're talking about so you can lay down the facts on them and take their conspiracy theory dismissal apart because as soon as you can take one of their arguments apart where they call something that you know to be fact not a theory right when they call it a theory and you take it apart and convince them or at least plant the seeds for them to question their own belief of what took place you've won congratulations you just shattered the reality of that person who had this dogma just imagine what it's like telling a child that there is no santa claus you just did it congratulations that infant is about to become an adult that's their first step they got a long ways to go yet but good thing you did it it's no good remaining an infant for too long do the work for you you'll have a good time yeah gang let's call it a stream or a double stream i guess okay um tomorrow we're going to do mathematics okay time to do a little math again it's open discussion math um i'm going to make myself available for a couple hours we can talk about math physics whatever you guys want to talk about uh but any math questions coming up we're going to deal with the mathematics and tomorrow at 1 30 p.m we begin okay let's go into what matters well on an education front anyway yes chicho that's what i mean the common people have been programmed to dismiss any critical critical thinking yeah i figured out santa wasn't real by myself when he came in through the door i ripped off his beard and saw it was my granddad <laughs> amigo thanks chicho that was some fun discussion indeed it was thank you for for being here gang it's truly horrific what category categories is math are you familiar with i'm teaching um basically high school math dante thanks for sticking around brother see you brother uh i'm basically high school math um elementary school high school a little bit of college and university but basically pre-calculus and a little bit of statistics you are the julian assange of the santa <laughs> i'm here exposing the truth 
Nice, nice. Okay, gang. Uh, thanks for being here. If you can make it tomorrow, I'll see you guys during the math stream. If not, uh, expect maybe an unannounced Julian Assange stream where we're going to cover more info. Okay. Bye for now. You too, you too, gang. Have a fantastic day, all. See you around. Great, Vichicho. Bye, guys. <laughs>